Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. The videos you're about to watch may just be proof of the paranormal. Number 1. An anonymous Reddit user that goes by Board Guy Online posted a video desperately looking for answers. According to the man behind this account, he works overnight with security at an old hospital. And one day while at work, one of his buddies mentioned that he had been seeing strange things in the hospital for the last few weeks. Board Guy Online was obviously skeptical, but his friend told him to start recording videos and he may just catch something. Well, late one night during his shift, he began recording on his phone as he walked through the halls. But it wasn't until he later reviewed this video that he realized he actually caught something downright chilling. As he turned to look down the hall, a dark figure emerged from one of the rooms. This solid black figure lunged into the hall, appearing to notice the man recording before it quickly ducked back into the room. In the moment, Board Guy Online did a double take as he thought he may have seen something. But it wasn't until he later rewatched this video at home that he discovered exactly what was caught on video. Number 2. YouTube user Non-Tactical Shooter is a channel run by a man that strictly makes videos about firearms. But just recently, he posted something entirely different. Late one night, around 4 in the morning, his daughter complained that she suddenly woke up and couldn't fall back to sleep. Well, once the morning rolled around, a Non-Tactical Shooter noticed a notification from his ring camera from 4 a.m. And when he reviewed the footage, this is what he saw. As the video begins, a faint white figure seems to manifest into view, then slowly moved across his backyard and out of frame. This misty apparition looks to have a humanoid shape, but clearly is not a living person. Non-tactical shooter could not ignore the bizarre coincidence that this anomaly happened to show up around the same time that his daughter couldn't sleep. But who or what could this low-budget Casper be? Number 3 Over on the Ghost Tech Paranormal YouTube channel, Paranormal investigators Jeff and Mark set out to investigate a place known as Slough Fort. Constructed in 1867, this small artillery fort was put in place in case of possible enemy landings. And throughout the years, it transitioned from being used for World War II, to a zoo, and even to a farm. But today, the current staff at the fort have reported seeing an angry soldier who doesn't seem to like visitors. Ghostly footsteps, voices, and loud noises are also commonly heard within these brick walls. To kick things off, Jeff and Mark made their way to the main courtyard and began trying to establish contact. This device I'm holding in my hand is a recorder. You won't know what it is, but what it does, it records sound. So see that red light? If you speak into that red light, we can play that back and hear what you're saying. So if you've got something to tell us or ask us, or indeed tell us about yourself, that would be brilliant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this over here on this ledge. So any time you want to speak, just speak into that red light. It'll be nice to know your name, what rank you are, so if you could please introduce yourself. The sensitive digital recorder which I had placed on the window ledge is receiving several amazing EVPs. 
a voice of an officer giving us his rank and name. A voice saying Gunner Corporal, but we cannot decipher his surname. Here is the audio. What rank you are? So if you could please introduce yourself. What rank you are? So if you could please introduce yourself. What sounds like a ghostly voice trying to break through the static was captured. The guys then made their way to a different part of the fort where the activity began to escalate. If you can't muster up enough energy for us to see you, could you tap, tap or bang on something? What the f I saw something moving over there just before you did that. Something just tapped on my right shoulder. I saw something moving behind you before before you reacted like that. That's why I didn't say I didn't say anything. That made me jump anyway. Now it's tapping from behind me. Who? Oh, sorry. Made me jump. Sorry, you made me jump. It made his jump, but if you could do something again, maybe not not this time touch one of us, but move something. The f There's movement behind you, Jeff. Thank you. Come on in. Is that, is that your chair making that noise? I could hear it, I could hear it. Who was it was it was it shaking was moving as I was sitting on it. I could hear it, that's why I said is that your chair? It was actually slightly dragging as I was sitting on it. Do you do you not like us being in here because we're not military? That was, what was, I thought it was you, was it No, you? I didn't move, I, I haven't moved, it was, there. F that? There's tapping coming from near you. Who's doing that? Do it again. It's someone walking. It's walking in boots, I've gone freezing cold. I always say that in every episode. Or oh, is it that chair moving? No, it's not the chair. What's the, who's making that noise? Do it again. That's, that's, walking. that's walking right by you. I said I could see someone over there. The sound of boots walking is heard, which seems to be coming from inside the room. Here is the audio enhanced, taken from Mark's digital recorder. What's the, who's making that noise? Do it again. That's, that's, walking. that's walking right by you. I said I could see someone over there. From the sound of ghostly footsteps around them to something tapping on Jeff's shoulder, they clearly weren't alone. The duo then decided to split up, with Mark in one of the dark tunnels of the fort, while Jeff conducted an EVP session in one of the cells. But while alone in the maze of tunnels, Mark heard something that sent chills down his spine. So, I'd like to introduce myself. If you haven't already seen us wandering around yet, my name is Mark. Come a long way to visit this wonderful fort that's been holy sh what was that who's that oh my 
God. Who's banging? Who's making those bangs? Do it again. Mark is frozen to the spot and cannot move as loud banging comes from within the ammunition stores. It is so loud that it echoes throughout the whole complex. Holy shit. What was that? Who's that? Oh my God. As Mark's heart raced from what he just heard, Jeff discovered that something had followed him to the cells. Walking is heard, coming from outside the cell that I am in, and I am waiting for the door to open, thinking Mark has returned back from the ammunition stores, but then the walking ceases. Here is the enhanced audio. But while the Ghost Tech team were divided, conducting their solo investigations in different parts of the fort, a static camera caught something incredibly creepy. Whilst Mark and I were doing our solo EVPs, our static cam in the parade ground captures a figure from a staircase which leads up to the battlements. Here is the original footage, followed by the footage enhanced. The static camera that had been rolling for hours caught an ominous black figure peering out from a staircase. The sinister being seemed to glance at the main courtyard before disappearing behind the wall. Jeff and Mark had no idea that a shadow figure was caught, but this footage proves that the guys were not alone during this investigation. Number 4 TikTok user Jen Marari has been dealing with an unsettling haunting for the last two years. After moving into an old farmhouse with her wife and daughter, it didn't take long for them to notice that something wasn't right. What seems to be a stubborn dark spirit just won't seem to leave her property. Over the last 24 months, Jen's been able to catch incredible proof of what she's been experiencing inside of her home. But in a terrifying twist, it seems as if this entity is willing to follow her outside of the house. The camera just shut off. I'm genuinely like sitting here by myself. There's no one here. What the f And I don't know. I'm hearing a bunch of sh And I feel like there's sh all around me. Nobody here. And that thing in the window is gone. 
the freaking blanket. Did you just see that? Freaking blankets. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, there's nothing over here. There's nothing over there, dude. That's nuts. While Jen was sitting outside completely alone, she began to hear strange noises all around her. And after seeing a nearby blanket move out of the corner of her eye, she began to record it. When suddenly, something we cannot see began to pull it off the couch. The movement of this blanket clearly looks like someone or something was causing this to happen. Five days later, while Jen was walking through the woods on her property, she began recording after hearing someone behind her. Alright, so I'm walking and I hear other footsteps that are not my own. Here, I'll stop. Hang on. You heard that, right? Nothing. No one. Nothing. I heard that again. Jesus Christ. I'm out. I'm leaving. Hello? What the f dude? That was not me. That's not me. I did not do that. I'm going to count. Can you do that again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This. I need to make a call. As Jen completely stopped moving, the sound of footsteps crunching leaves can still be heard. All right, so I'm walking and I hear other footsteps that are not my own. Here, I'll stop. Hang on. You heard that, right? Here, I'll stop. Hang on. You heard that, right? But clearly no one was around. Then as she stood still listening to her surroundings, a ghostly voice eerily whispered saying leave. Leave. What the f***, dude? She then began counting when suddenly this voice was caught ominously saying, get out. Seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. This was more than enough activity to convince Jen to get the F out of those woods. I, on the other hand, would have bolted out of those woods after the first slightest crunch of a leaf around me. Number five. Reddit user BourbonLover88 posted a video to Reddit in search for answers. Early one morning at 5.44 a.m., a trail camera they have set up in the woods detected something. And as soon as BourbonLover got a chance to review the footage, it sent chills down their spine. <sighs> of the night, a faint figure can be seen walking through their property. This anomaly moved from left to right, maneuvering through the trees. Because of this figure's stature, I don't believe it's an animal. But is it something paranormal, or possibly a person creeping through their property at 5 in the morning? Both possibilities are equally as terrifying. Number 6 over on a YouTube channel called Mama D, a woman has been documenting the haunting in her home for the last three years. Although, she's been experiencing paranormal activity around her for over five decades. According to Dee, she's an empath with the ability to hear and sense spirits. And it's not uncommon for these spirits to try to get her attention. <laughs> Just a few moments after Dee got up and turned the light off, it mysteriously flipped back on. And incredibly, you can even hear the light switch being moved. 
And while this activity seems innocent enough, she's caught other evidence that is downright unsettling. One night while asleep in bed, the security camera in her room was rolling overnight, but something continued to trigger the motion sensor. In the doorway, hair-raising shadows continuously darted back and forth. These shadows move incredibly fast, but if we slow down the video, you can clearly see something casting a shadow on the wall and floor. No full-body figures were caught, but rather, small black anomalies rapidly flying back and forth. According to Dee, this is just an average night in her home, so remind me to never have a sleepover at Dee's place. Number 7. A man that goes by TrainingBeat7600 on Reddit recently moved into an apartment that was built in 1912, and according to him, the old tenant suddenly left with no explanation. Well, not too long after getting settled in, he suddenly began to notice a heavy presence in the apartment. Out of curiosity, he decided to use a spirit box in an attempt to communicate. Is there anybody in here? Did you hear that? I said, yeah. Immediately after asking, is there anybody in here? A crystal clear yes came through the spirit box. This Reddit user was thrilled at the response, but in the days that followed, his excitement soon faded and was replaced by fear. My hand. After noticing movement in his hallway, he began recording when he managed to capture the guitar moving on its own. As it hung from the wall, it eerily began to move in a way that looked as if someone was trying to pull it down. Training Beat 7600 has no idea how to explain this, but maybe this ghost was just trying to get the party started. Number 8. Over the last couple years, we've seen Dave and Dell from the Signs and Signals YouTube channel conduct countless investigations at an extremely haunted church. Well, as you may have guessed, they decided to return. To switch things up, Dell entered the church completely alone to do his own solo investigation. All right, I'm in here, stinking up the place with my gas demons. Um, the real demons are in here. Say what's up to the camera. Oh my god. Well, here we go. God. Is anybody in here that like to communicate? I'm in here all alone. Dude, I know y'all heard that. After asking if anyone would like to communicate, Dell quickly found out that his gas demons were not the only ones inside. A faint ghostly voice seemed to respond saying yes. Dell heard this with his own ears, immediately putting him on edge. He then cautiously made his way through the church, ensuring that no one else was in the building. But when he eventually took a seat in the pews, things took an unsettling turn. God, I'm scared. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, please be with me. Whew. Dude, 
I really feel like I'm about to get sick. Like, just... <sighs> Calm down. Oh, man, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I don't know how entertaining this is, um, but you try coming in here by yourself. It's, it's, it's not cool. It's, it... Come on out and show yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's cool. Um, thank you. Or if you're somebody in here that, that wants me to leave, just tell me. David? Immediately after saying, come on out and show yourself, a loud bang came from inside the room. But as Dell went looking for the source of this noise, he began to antagonize whatever may be lurking in the church. You just gonna play with me and just uh, keep on knocking, making me come back here, and then you do nothing. So you're obviously just effing with me. And, uh, you know, I can F with you back. I can just completely ignore you. You're not even there. I don't even care. You ain't nothing. You ain't never been anything. That's the reason why you're stuck here. Because you suck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude. That was right on the ground. I could feel that rumbling on my feet. What's that supposed to mean, huh? You want me to come back in there? Well, no, I'm not coming back in there. Hell no. No. You stay in there. How about that shit? I like that. What the hell? Dude. Shit. Oh my god. There's bane every It's like chasing me, dude. What the hell? What are you doing? Shut up! Shit. Oh, hell no with this. I'm getting out of here. That. began to come from every corner of the room, sending Dell running for the door, trying to get out. But after discovering the door was jammed, he stood still, trying to catch his breath. It stopped. Dude, I need to leave. Dude. front of him, someone or something began to aggressively slam against it. With no other options, Dell decided to go back through the church to find another exit. But as he entered the main room, he discovered that tables and chairs were now scattered across the floor. He eventually made it out, but not without having a truly traumatizing experience. Number 9 TikTok user Savvy Cat has dozens of beautiful videos of nature scattered across her account. But besides these videos of mountains, oceans, and wildlife, a recent post took her followers by surprise. According to Savvy, a security camera at her parents' home seemed to catch something bizarre.
Near the bottom of the couch, a white mass seemed to manifest. This strange anomaly then flew through the room, seeming to grow larger as time went on. And as it traveled, it appeared to leave behind a ghostly white trail. Neither Savvy or her parents have been able to come up with an explanation. So what do you think? Number 10. A woman named Jazzy on TikTok recently posted a series of videos that caught my eye. Jazzy is a new mom to an adorable baby boy, but lately she started to notice strange things appearing on her baby monitor. Late one night as she was checking her camera's live feed, she noticed that her baby had a visitor. A glowing orb danced around the inside of the crib, appearing to get closer and closer to the sleeping child. According to Jazzy, this orb was caught on camera for a total of 24 minutes. But little did she know that in the nights that followed, things would get even creepier. As her son was fast asleep, it looked as if something yanked his legs out from under him. Luckily, he didn't seem to react to this, but Jazzy couldn't help but find it strange. And the following night, her camera caught this. While asleep, something appeared to grab the baby's foot and drag him toward the side of the crib before waking him up. This bizarre movement looks as if an invisible force has a grip on the child, and this footage immediately sent chills down Jazzy's spine. Ever since discovering this video, Jazzy has not let him sleep in that room, and honestly, that's probably for the best. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this.